Good blessed Wednesday night, March the 2nd, 2022. It's about 9.25 uh, p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with the universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest or the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest or the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed prime enemies. I greet all you all with that same universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Earlier, I made a uh, video about how uh, the racism and discrimination is going on in Ukraine as Russia uh, is attacking uh, Ukraine, how the... Uh, Ukraine government and the Polish government is stopping blacks from fleeing uh, of the country. Uh, I, I got another one that I'm making tonight. I said uh, February the 2nd, 2022, which it, anybody was looking at it, they know it was made today, March the 2nd, uh, 2022. But I'm going to show y'all another little short clip of somebody that's over there showing how these racists, you hear me? These racist Ukrainian police is pushing a black female off the train that's trying to flee the country. She's one of the uh, amongst the 16,000 non-European uh, uh, ex exchange students. Now, here's a country that another country is attacking and the United States have the audacity to send 3,800 uh, U.S. troops over there to Germany to try to help these people and these people the way they treating blacks. Send them 3,800 uh, 3, to get them 16,000 people that these racist Ukrainians won't let out, but they letting whites get out. Now you tell me why is the United Nations or anybody else taking up for this country? I sympathize with anybody being attacked, but I don't sympathize with a country being attacked and they showing racism when other people that's trying to flee. Students that came there and uh, to get an education and uh, uh, as an exchange students, but yet when they country is being attacked, white ch women and children is able to leave. Hey, hey, now. White, white uh, children and women is able to leave, but blacks ain't. And you can witness for yourself, blacks over there, showing when they trying to get on the train, they let a white woman on, but the Ukrainian government, uh, uh, police is pushing a black female off. Get them troops in the United Nations. We can hold back on trying to defend the Ukraine until we get them 16 thousand people that's trying to get up out of there that's not Europeans. And, and until this guy, KK, that made a comment on my uh, on my YouTube video. Y'all look at it. And the visitor not a name, KK, when I'm speaking of the racism that's going on in Ukraine with the black and, and uh, Indian and, and uh, uh, non-European uh, exchange students, this guy KK or female KK told me I need to worry about uh, the black on black crimes in Charleston, Missouri. In other words, speaking about the 16 people got shot. But I don't normally comment like this here, but I told KK, worry about that big black man that's laying in the bed with his mama. Peace be still. Man, only women, only women, going, going, only women. Yep, it is really real and sad. Hashtag Africans in Ukraine gained traction on Twitter over the weekend. 
bringing attention to the difficulty and apparent discrimination African migrants in Ukraine are facing at the country's borders. As Russia continues to attack Ukraine, thousands of African students and migrants are reportedly trapped in the country, waiting hours at border crossings. One migrant said he was told no blacks and instructed to get off a bus set to cross the border. No, no. There was one inside the train, they went inside the train and show him gun. Walk out. They put a gun to a black face. man's face. I said, walk out. And he walked out because he was scared of war. So you're telling me that, that there is discrimination by the Ukrainians Seriously against black people? discrimination on the back black people entering the, ent entering the, the train, the free train. They help their people that do not want to help blacks. Others are reporting that black people have been sent to the back of the line in favor of Ukrainian nationals after waiting to cross into safety for several hours. And yes, there's been a lot of segregation and racism from the people who've managed to actually get to the passport control. It seems like there's a hierarchy of Ukrainians first, Indians second, Africans last. The reported racial discrimination at the border isn't just against black people. Indian students are also having difficulty getting past Ukrainian police. The Ukrainians were let in and the, and the foreigners they were segregated to one side. Embassies for India, Nigeria, Kenya and other countries have reportedly made contact with students in Ukraine and are making efforts to evacuate those stranded at the border. But students from other countries say they feel abandoned by their embassies as their pleas for help in escaping Ukraine have been unanswered. As nations around the globe prepare to help Ukrainian refugees, People of color in Ukraine want the world to know that their safety matters too.